So are you guys facing the problem where you guys are having transaction error? So let's say you connect a trust wallet to a website, and you're trying to do transaction for example, pancakes. So you connect your wallet to pancakes while you're trying to do the transaction and the transaction just doesn't happen. Well, the first reason could be a slow internet connection. So always make sure your internet connection is fast enough to run your trust valid, and your other website smoothly. Because if it is not, then it's your internet connection, not anything else. But let's say you have a stable internet connection and are still facing the problem. Well, you guys are at the right video, because by the end of this video, you guys will know how we guys can fix this problem. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our YouTube channel Tech World so you guys can get notified once our new future videos just like this releases. Alright, so first thing for an example, I'm going to go to my browser, since I'm using iPhone and like you know trust. While it doesn't provide you the browsing feature for iPhone, I'm going to go on this website, PancakeSwap for an example. But you can do this for any website over here, right? So my wallet is already connected. So I hope your wallet is also already connected. Because for while it is not connected, then basically that's the reason your transaction is not happening. Alright, you got to connect your wallet. So let's say your wallet is connected just like this, what you got to do is you got to disconnect your wallet, how you can disconnect your wallet is click on your wallet on whichever website you are, I'm a bank, so I'm just going to click on it. Click on disconnect, and my wallet is disconnected. Once my wallet is disconnected, you got to click on connect wallet again, click on wallet connect. Click on trust and your trust wallet is going to open up click and connect and trust while it will be connected with that website. Again, now where all transaction is going to be cancelled once you do this. So you got to do that transaction again. And this time, it's not going to say transaction error. But if this time also it says transaction or do the same process again and again and again until the time it says like your transaction is done right because this is the only way to fix it. And a lot of people's problem has been fixed by doing the step which I'm doing right. So hope you guys understand and how we guys can fix your transaction error and trust wallet. So if you guys found our video helpful then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notification on I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye until then.